championship for the boys league what if she does object listen i am captain of the volunteers and if audrey simmons says one word to me so help me out Hi. audrey darling hi friend hi lucy well girls are we going to win the big game tomorrow you bet we are and what are we going to do to ridgeberry smash them bust them that's our custom Yay! <laughs> Say, we stopped by the sporting goods store on the way over, and they want some more tickets for the game. It's almost a sellout. That's great. Wonderful. I have some good news, too. The Danfield Chamber of Commerce wants to donate a prize. Every member of the winning team gets a shiny new axe. Oh, oh my God. God. Listen, with all those people coming and everything, I wish we could do something about new uniforms. Our old ones look so tacky. Oh, I know. Mine's absolutely threadbare. My uniform is in very good shape. Mine, too. Wait a minute. I have a wonderful idea. My cousin Elliot manages the Danfield High baseball team, but their season's over, so we can borrow the uniforms from them. That's a marvelous idea. We look just like big leaguers. I'll call him tonight. Now, let's see what else is there. Oh, Viv, here's the starting lineup. Now, you'll give this to the printer for the program. Okay. Audrey, any new faces in the lineup? <laughs> no, it's the same wonderful team that did such a bang-up job for us this summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, in that case, then, Viv, before you take that to the printer, you better wait and get the new lineup from the new manager. New manager? Yes, Mr. Crescent, he's holding tryouts tomorrow and he's going to choose his own lineup. Who asked him to be the new manager? I did, by the authority vested in me as captain of the volunteer fire department. <laughs> I fail to see the connection. Your authority does not extend to the baseball diamond. Well, now let me put it this way, Audrey. Uh, isn't it your turn next month to drive the fire truck? <laughs> yes. 
Well, there could be a little change in that lineup, too. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> How about refreshments, girls? Buddy, I'm for the big game, and I thought maybe you could give me some pointers. Okay. Well, I thought I'd try out for shortstop, since that's what I played all season. What would you like to know? Well, first, what does a shortstop do? What does a shortstop do? Well, I know that he picks up the ball, and he throws to the bases, and he makes outs and things like that. But, I mean, what can I do to show off in front of Mr. Crescent? A double play is pretty flashy. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. How's that work? Well... Here's second base, yeah. and here's shortstop. Uh-huh. I catch the ball, run to second, and throw to first. Oh, yeah. Let's see now. I'd better practice that. Now, this is the second base, and the shortstop is in here, and I scoop up the ball, and I touch second base, and I throw to first. You've got to do that a whole lot faster. Oh, well, I probably could do it better if you throw me the ball. Okay. Go ahead now. You throw me the ball. I'm shortstop over here, and you throw me a sizzling grounder. And I scoop it up, and I touch second base, and I throw it. <laughs> I've seen enough practice to know where the strength is. So, there is your starting lineup. Uh, where do we play? Oh, Which oh, one? Where do we play? Oh, 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 where are you, Ricky? Oh, where, oh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? And you're oh, the first player. Back on the bench again. Some manager he is. That's the same lineup Audrey Simmons used all season. All right, team, let's go out on the field. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Crescent, do you mean to tell me that out of 11 players, we are the worst? Well, let me put it this way. Yes. <laughs> you don't know a baseball player when you see one. We can't be that bad. Well, that's what I thought, but you certainly surprised me. <laughs> Mr. Crescent, as captain of our volunteer fire department, I can only hope you never have a fire in your hardware store. <laughs> well, insulting the manager is hardly the way to get in the lineup. I would suggest that you two practice with the team. If there's one thing in the world I don't have to practice, it's how to sit. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Crescent. Oh, hello, Mrs. Edwards. Say, aren't you just a little bit late for practice? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Crescent, but you see, I just came from my doctor, and, well, I'm afraid I won't be able to play Saturday. Well, something wrong? Oh, no, no. Everything's just fine. Well, why can't you play? Well, uh... Babette! You mean that you're... <laughs> Congratulations, I hope it's a boy. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, Babette. <laughs> This is your fifth, isn't it? Oh, no, my sixth. Your <laughs> sixth. Oh, I'll bet your husband's so happy. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to tell him. <laughs> well, somebody ought to tell him. Yes. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> isn't that wonderful? I never had this problem with a boys' team. <laughs> hey, that means that one of us gets to play in the outfield. Oh, I can play, I can play left field. That's my best position. No, left you're field. no outfielder, Viv. You're a catcher. How do you know? You're built like a catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I can play outfield, Mr. Crescent. I just 
didn't miss a ball all season. Neither did I. Wait a minute. You two didn't play all season. <laughs> so what? I'm your outfielder. I'm your outfielder. Oh, yeah? Yes, I now, am. Wait a minute. Come on, Please, put me in. ladies, ladies, I've watched your feeling during practice. Believe me, it's hard to choose. <laughs> well, you got to choose one of us. We're all that's left. Don't rub it in. <laughs> well, actually, since you're both equal, I suppose I should give the position to the best hitter. I'm the best hitter. You are not. I'm yes, the best I hitter. Am. I am the best hitter. hitter. I'm the best hitter. I know, I know. You went all season without a strikeout. Excuse me. <laughs> put me in, coach. No, put me in, coach. Put me in, oh, me in. Ladies, stop me. And I'm going to hit like a awful lot. You're stretching my alpaca. Come on, holy cow. All right, I have an idea. There is a batting machine down at the amusement park. Now, why don't you two go down there, and whoever gets the most hits off of the machine will be the center fielder, okay? Batting machine, that's a great idea. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> batting machine. Uh-huh. Okay, Viv, you go ahead. Then you come back and tell me how many hits you made, and then I'll go. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, you yeah. don't. So we can check on each other. Boy, don't you trust anybody? Almost anybody. <laughs> All right, then we'll go together. Fine. Two hits, I got one. <laughs> well, anyway, I win. I get to play. How about another 50? Oh, no, now. You've already conned me into another 50 because I was ahead. All right, Viv, if you don't want to be fair. Oh, oh, for heaven's sake. Anybody can hit those slow ones, for heaven's sake. The real test comes when you turn this machine up to major league speed. What makes you think you could hit major league speed when you've already missed 99 slow balls? <laughs> the only reason you beat me is because you're a blue pitter. I'm a slugger, and us sluggers kill fastballs. <laughs> okay, slugger. One more turn, but that's it. Okay. Put your 50 cents in. It's your turn for that. Well, I gotta get some change. Okay, go ahead. I'll wait here. Oh, no. You're coming with me. Why? Because you still got 50 cents, and I want to be sure that while I'm gone, you don't take a warm-up turn. Oh, boy, do you have a crooked mind. <laughs> now, go on, get going. Oh, now... Go on. Well, I guess Audrey set the best fit. 
wearing uniforms to those of us who are going to play. <laughs> well, none of my belts are big enough to go around all this extra material, so I gotta wrap it up in my bathrobe cord. <laughs> Can you help me? Oh, sure. Okay. Come on, Chrissy. <laughs> Put it through the loops. You hold that. Hold, hold right. out the trousers there. That's it. <laughs> hold that up. Right. Hold it out. Mom, do you know who wore this uniform last season? The shortstop and the catcher. <laughs> no, it belongs to the star pitcher, Art Thompson. Everybody calls him Moose. <laughs> they call him that or he is one. <laughs> on your shoulders. Okay, coach.
it thanks to you. Thanks to me? Yeah, thanks to you. Lucy, what did you do? Bet on Ridgeberry? Ah, uh, just a cut and pick a minute. <laughs> Audrey, you get on back to the pitching mound. <laughs> this is Carmichael. I'm afraid I'm going to have to send you back to the bench. But there's nobody left to play in my place. I know. I think it's better this way. <laughs> Mr. President, the rules say that there have to be nine players. I know. I know. Ah. You see, the sun really is bad, Mr. Crescent. I'm not looking at the sun. I'm hoping for rain. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm with the game. Clear the field. You see the trouble you got me into? You're supposed to be playing left field. Now, will you get over there and play it? All right. I'll play it. Play ball! Play ball! Yeah! Play ball! 